Hi there guys, I'm Marshmallow from Deviant Art. I want to thank you all who have already subscribed to, this, to my YouTube channel and I am actually very appreciative of you just kind of blind following me here. It's kind of outstanding. It makes me kind of giddy on the inside. Uh, pretty much what's going to be happening on this channel quite a bit is I will be uploading speed paints, um, tutorials, occasionally I'll be talking about video games, like what I play, what I personally like in them. Uh, maybe, maybe, very maybe, maybe I'll do some playthroughs on how I play like Pokemon for example or um, how I'm a very crappy Overwatch player because all I do is jump in head first, something like that. Um, I'll talk about television shows that I enjoy and maybe get your inputs on them, uh, give out some fan theories on them for some shows, some shows it's going to be really hard if not next to impossible. Like. I'm a huge Supernatural fan and I'm actually watching it right now because after my roommate's been with me for four years she has finally agreed to watch Supernatural and she's addicted. So I get to go through all of that again. But I mean I might try and throw some fan theories out there but at this point in the show you know starting season 12 might be difficult because for one most of the fan theories that I've had in the past have already been proven true or false. There is still one I'm kind of toying around with because, I don't know, that's frankly, I could toy around with it until the series ends because of how it is, but that's not the point. I'll, uh, well I mean it kind of is the point, but I'll be talking about those, um, I'll be talking about like things like even Steven Universe and my own little, my little pony theories. These will kind of go from the show when it comes to My Little Pony, but at the same time, I kind of want to introduce you guys to my own kind of headcanon. And this will range back to my one character, I did upload a reference sheet of her on my profile, I don't know if all of you have seen it, Princess Starlight Bridge. Uh, she's slowly kind of getting changed again to just Princess Starlight. Long, long story short, she has had many different stories that I have incorporated in for her. One of them I feel like I could have gone far with back whenever the bridge was still in her name. But at this point, I think I'm actually dropping the bridge from her completely. If you want to know more about what that little kind of thing was, you can ask me. And... Heck, maybe if enough interest is shown, I'll kind of do a little video about what her original story was supposed to be centered around. And maybe if we get enough interest, I'll do a little... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'll be doing things like that as well on here. Um, I guess I want this video to be more of like an introduction to myself. And maybe where, yeah, we'll do it this way, where the name Marshmallow came from. Uh, we'll start with that for now, but um, I'm also going to kind of talk about myself, who I am as an actual breathing human being. And I'll probably also talk a little bit about, hmm, I don't know, we'll see. But we're definitely going to talk about Marshmallow, where it came from today, and we're going to talk about who I am, not necessarily just like who's Marshmallow and DVR, but like who I am living, breathing, sitting right here talking to my computer. So starting off, Marshmallow, where'd that come from? From a young age, uh, family members used to just call me Marshmallow. My name is actually Mallory. So it kind of melded together as a cute little pet name for the youngest member of the family because that is legitimately what I am. My parents are the youngest in their families, my mom being two years younger than her sibling, or her uh, next oldest sibling, or next youngest sibling, and my dad being over ten years younger than his oldest sibling. So, yeah, I'm the youngest, and I mean youngest, like, I have second cousins that are older than me. So... Yeah, my, my pet name was Marshmallow from legitimately everyone. First cousins, aunts, uncles, even family members that at this point, I still don't know how they're related to me, but they are somehow. 
And it's something that stuck with me for quite a long time, especially whenever my aunt from Texas would come up and visit us here in Pennsylvania. But as I grew older and she stopped visiting as often because, well, she was growing older and becoming a little bit wary of flying, uh, the name kind of died for me because I had no contact with them, so Marshmallow kind of died with them being down in Texas. But recently... I've started talking with, like, them on Facebook. I shouldn't say recently. It's been seven years. But recently, quotation marks here, um, I've been talking to them more. And that's pretty much what they still call me is Marshmallow. But still, though, I don't talk to them as often as I should. I'll admit that. I should talk to them a lot more than what I do. And that's one thing I kind of wondered about like I know my mom said a lot of people would call me marshmallow even my babysitters would and I kind of didn't think anything of it until I started working at Walmart uh over the summer I worked at Walmart and I made quite a few friends a lot of them wanted to get to know me because my fiance had already been working there for a year so let's get to know the other half of Brad that's pretty much a lot of their thought process well, one of them, he comes up with nicknames for everybody at work, and I mean everybody. Managers, um, other cashiers, not all of them necessarily nice. Thankfully, I was one of the good ones. Uh, he started calling me Mallow Cup. Well, yeah, obviously that's not Marshmallow. But it's something that kind of stuck with me. I mean, obviously, it's what I'm called when I go through Walmart now. <laughs> but... One thing I found fascinating, and I shouldn't say fascinating, it's not the word I'm looking for, but it's the word I'm coming up with right now. So we're going with fascinating. One thing I found fascinating is I was working the tobacco counter, and it was like the end of my shift, and he either covers the self-checkout or the tobacco counter. He was covering the tobacco counter that night. And he came over behind me, and he told me Marshmallow, or he called, he said, Malakup, this is your last customer. Well, I kind of recognized the customer, but I wasn't sure, so I wasn't going to push it because, I mean, you don't want to accidentally say you know someone that you don't know. And when he called me Mallow Cup, boy, did they perk up. They looked at me, and they kind of looked at my name tag, and like something clicked, and they're like, you're a marshmallow. And she started talking to me more, and it turns out this was my babysitter from when I was two years old. And the only reason she really, like, the mallow cup made it click was because my favorite food, like not food, but I guess candy, candy bar, it's a little shade gray area here, was a mallow cup. And if you've never seen them or heard of them, mallow cups are like Reese cups with marshmallow in them. So that was my favorite candy when I was a kid and she kind of made her like put two and two together that this was the same kid she babysat. So Marshmallow, I mean, no one started calling me Marshmallow at work, but it's something that kind of made its way back around to me, and I wanted to latch on to it simply because it was part of who I was as a child. And let's face it, when you're a child, you're free, you're happy, you're loving life, you're loving everything. Nothing is wrong in the world. And that's kind of what I almost wanted to center this account around. Not necessarily loving everything, like, you know, a kid would, but at the same time, not letting things bother you as much. I know the internet is not a place to get offended on, <laughs> and sometimes, as we all know, it can be very, very difficult because, let's face it, people are people and no one's really nice in the end, but it's something that kind of made me think, you know, when I was a kid, nothing really bothered me. I drew something I thought it sucked oh well I put it up on the fridge anyway things like that and that's kind of the point I hit with this newer profile like before my other profile I was kind of more obsessed with people liking me and it did it had a major effect on me like to the point where I was making I don't want to say making depressing but some some posts that were more like sad just how I felt like no one really ever noticed me and this accounts more for me just having fun and being me and 
doing what I want to do. If you notice me, that's fantastic. If you don't, that's fantastic. Whatever. That's the point I've hit. But kind of going off that also, I do want to thank everybody who has helped me out. Whether you shared my journals whenever I was asking for permissions or what, I, I know this seems out of the blue, but I'm sure many of you who are watching this remember I posted journals saying urgent commissions, emergent, you know, things like that. Like, I need commissions, I need money. I want to thank all of you who have shared that journal or even those of you who have commissioned me. It means the world to me. Um, I haven't, unfortunately, I have not raised the money I wanted to, but I have also, at the same time, kind of raised enough that I'll be okay. Me, my commissions are still going to be open. They're always going to be open, but until I feel a little bit more comfortable, it's just going to be commissions. I know I've had a few people ask me if I do requests, and at one point, at some point, maybe in the future, I will open them. Because I'm done with school here in December. Like, I am done graduating undergrad. Woo! So maybe at that point when things start stressing down, I'll open up requests. But for now, commissions are going to stay open for a few reasons. Still needing that money, I know. Stranger of the internet saying they desperately need money for this reason. Yeah, that's not shady at all. Thank you if you trust me. I don't blame you if you don't. I'm not going to make you trust me. I'm not going to sit here and like post a picture of like a dead body or you know. I'm not going to do that shit. Like if you trust me that's great. If you don't, that's great. <laughs> I'm not going to be picky about it. But I, that's one reason I'm not going to close commissions anytime soon or open up requests for that matter simply because if I can have somewhat of an income flow that would be fantastic. So, until then, I'm sorry guys, I do love you all. I would love to actually draw your characters for fun, but, and I mean, for birthdays and such, I might. It, keep your eyes open, you never know. But for now, commissions are gonna stay open, requests are gonna stay closed. Wanted to get that out of the way, but do, sincerely, I thank everyone who has shared my journal, who has commissioned me, or even if you saw my journal and decided to come like look at my page and decided to watch me, I still want to thank you because you're still supporting me. Even if you're not commissioning me or spreading the journal, I don't care. I'm not going to make you seem like a horrible person. Like, it's your choice. I'm not going to sit here and say you should have shared this. Like, that's wrong. With you. No. It's your choice. Frankly, I'm a stranger on the internet. What's there to trust? I'm not going to say anything else on the matter. But thank you all. Thank you all so much for doing what you have done already. And just keeping awesome, guys. Like, that that in itself is great. So, moving on. I do actually kind of want to talk about who I am as a person more so. Uh, one of the reasons I was raising money for a while is I want to go to veterinary school. I have been doing four and a half years of undergrad. Uh, yeah, well, maybe we'll talk about why there's a half year there, but I've been doing four and a half years of undergrad in animal science with an emphasis on veterinary medicine, and I have filled out my applications. They are ready to be sent to go to graduate school. Now, I am more than excited to potentially start my career as a veterinarian. I mean, granted, I still got four years of schooling to go. I won't be done until, <laughs> oh god, I won't be done until 2021. But it will be worth it. It's something that I've dreamed of my whole life. It's something that I love. And that's like, for me, it's great that I've come this far because I know a lot of people said I couldn't do it. Which, I know, that just sounds horrible. Who tells someone that they can't achieve their dreams? But I've pushed and I've shoved and I've gotten to this point. I've had support from family and friends, those who matter at the very least. And I'm going to keep pushing forward in it. I think I'm also going to talk to you guys about some of my interests. I mean, yeah, I'm sure we've all figured out at this point that I love to draw. Like, that's obviously a major one right off the bat. But... Um, not many people all talk about their other interests on DeviantArt. It's like, oh, what do you do for fun? Oh, I draw. Oh, huh, so do I. Uh, it's the same old, same old story. Well, some things I also enjoy doing is I'm, I mean, obviously I'm an avid 
drawer, drawer, artist, something like that. I don't know. Give me a word for there. Um, but I also quite enjoy writing. A lot in high school, I would write little short stories and poetry and things like that. And one of my teachers, he uh, hosted a creative writing club. And I actually remember this quite vividly. We went to, it was kind of like a little field trip for the creative writing students. We went to the local campus to kind of do some writing workshops for fun. And at the very end, there would be poetry reading. Well, for my project in an actual class, he was also a teacher of mine for my English class. Um, we were doing poetry portfolios. And he was kind of going through and he really fell in love with one of my poems. To the point where he wanted me to go up and read it, but he wasn't going to pressure me. So he asked someone else to go up and read it, and they did. And people freaking loved it. And I, it never really hit me before that maybe writing is something else that I should do a lot. And I don't know, I kind of wanted to bring it up here for you guys and see if, I mean, you guys would be interested in reading some of it. I mean, if enough of you want me to, I'll pos 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 I post some of those old poetries for you. I mean, I know I have them hidden away somewhere, whether they're on other websites, like I used to post on Figment quite often, and Wattpad. So maybe I'll take some of those down and post them on here. I know DeviantArt doesn't necessarily have the best literature uploading sections, but I'll do my best to also upload for those for you guys if you're actually interested in them. Uh, some other things I enjoy doing that I guess are on the artistic side is um, recently, well not recently, I need to stop using that word. It's a, it's a lie for me. If I use the word recently, assume it's a lie at this point. Um, I took photography classes on campus. The last one I took was, the first one I took, I should say, I took my junior year. So the fall of 2014, actually. And I quite enjoyed that class. It was a lot of fun. It was something I kind of didn't expect to get into. It was a film photography class at that. So not only were I, was I just taking pictures of whatever the assignment was, like, oh, do a... I don't know, I don't even remember what some of our assignments were, but we weren't only taking the pictures, we were taking the film up into the photo lab, popping them out of their canisters in dark rooms, wrapping them up and processing this film. Like, we went from picture to developing, we went the whole nine yards with it all. And I did. I had so much fun with that class. I fell in love with it. Photography actually became a great passion of mine. And, I mean, I really wish I could have kept, like, got a digital, or not digital, a film, film camera. Like, that would have been great. But at the same time, let's face it, film is very, very expensive to have to keep buying or replacing. And let alone, there's not many places around anymore that develop film for you, let alone if you can even find a place that would let you use your facil their facility for you to do it on your own. That was the most therapeutic part for me. For me. Well, what was it? I believe it was actually just last fall, so the fall of 2015, I took a digital photography class because I loved the teacher. The teacher was awesome, so I figured, well, I already took film, why well, not digital? Now, this is where I actually did buy myself a digital camera. I spent $600 on a camera, and it's something else that I did fall in love with. I mean, I missed the process of going up to the photo lab and developing my film and all that, but at the same time, it's still something I really enjoy doing. And I know photography is a very subjective thing, too. It's almost, in my opinion... It's almost a little bit more subjective than some of the other art styles out there. Like, you can be subjective on how someone drew this character or whatever, but at the same time, in the long run, there's a lot of things people look at that are common in all, like, hand-drawn things. What's the anatomy like? What, how are the lines? Are the lines consistent or are they sketchy? Like, there's things that people will always look at. For me in photography, it's at the same time a lot more subjective because, for one, I don't know what it was. We had an assignment in my film photography class to 
take this golf ball that he gave us and take pictures of it and like random kind of things. And I had no idea what I wanted to do with this golf ball. Like to me, he just handed me a golf ball and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I thought of some things, like there was a fence by my apartment, so I took it out, put it up on the fence, and took a picture of that. And personally, that was my favorite picture. That It turned out gorgeous. I liked how the colors, like the gradients and all that, like it was beautiful to me. But he, my teacher wasn't struck with it at all. It was probably actually his least favorite of all the pictures I took with this golf ball. So another picture I decided to take was I had a bicycle on campus. And I don't know what made me think of it, but I took it and I jammed it in the spokes of my bike so it could tire. Like, just kind of stuck it in there and took a picture of it and put it in, like, not center or anything. I didn't want it centered. I think the center of the tire was more centered and the ball was up towards, like, the right upper corner. And I didn't think it was that great of a picture. It was just kind of like, oh, there's a golf ball in the tire. Nothing special to me something random I could do with a golf ball honestly but my teacher loved it he even entered it in he well we had to enter an art show and my picture didn't get into the one that he entered in it well he uses them all these pictures all year round you can pick them up at the end of the school year and mind you this was in the fall of 2014 well, I come back in the spring of 2015 to get my picture at the very end, literally last week of classes. And I ask him, because he had him kind of just sitting out in the hallway by his office, and I go in, and I'm like, hey, I was like, I've looked through the pictures, I can't seem to find my tire with the golf ball in it, do you, I was like, well, did someone else pick it up, or, and he kind of looked at me for a moment, he's like, oh yeah, he's like, I'm sorry. He's like, I actually loved that picture so much, I entered it in a show up in Toledo. My teacher took my picture up to Toledo, and he paid for all the entry fees and everything for it, and he even told me. He's like, if it, he's like, it's still being, like, great, or, you know, judged and all that. He's like, if, um, it actually does happen to win a prize, you get all the prize money. He's like, I just, it was something I had to take, because he's, he fell in love with that picture. Uh, he, I mean, unfortunately, it didn't win any prizes, no one bought it or anything from me, but he simply loved that picture, and that's what kind of makes me realize that photography is a bit more subjective. Like, to me, it was just a golf ball and a tire, but to him, it was like some type of philosophical saint, like, revel revelation. I, I don't know what he was thinking, but he fell in love with that. So, I guess I kind of sit down on that, like, photography can be very subjective. And the, another thing, though. It's something I enjoy to do. So if you guys want me to start uploading any pictures I take, granted those are a lot sparse and fewer in between than writing, and that's pretty sparse and few in between from drawings. I draw daily. I write rarely, and I take pictures even more rarely. But if you guys want me to start uploading pictures I do take, I will most certainly do that. Just let me know in the comments. Um. This is turning into a rather long video. I was not expecting this at the same time. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about with you guys is, well, is my love for books. So, I know I said I do, like, conversations about, like, DVD, or not DVDs, but, like, TV series and uh, movies, games, what be it. But if you have a book that you really were interested in and want me to give a chance to read, let me know. I'll read it. It's something I enjoy to do, and maybe I'll give my own little review on here. Granted, those will be very far in between, too, because I'm really busy with college work. But I kind of just wanted to start this video series. Well, not, it's not a series. I need to just assume a lot of words I'm using wrong because my brain, it just comes up with things, spits them out. I'm like, bleh. I do word vomits. But I want to... If this was more of like just an introduction to who I am personally, where Marshmallow came from, and what I'm kind of like looking at doing with this channel. Like I said, speed paints, tutorials, lots of random discussions on random things. A uh, little heads up warning, as I'm sure you've probably realized by listening to this video. If you made it to this point, kudos. I love you for it. Thank you. Um, I do tangent a lot. So I could be talking about a fan theory about... 
Uh, for example, I don't know if you guys have seen this personally. I've seen it pop up on my YouTube a couple times. Uh, the fan theory that Pearl was actually the person who shattered Pink Diamond. So let's say I'm talking about that. I could either agree with it or not. I'm not going to give my personal view on it just yet. You'll have to wait for that. But say I'm talking about it and I could honestly randomly tangent onto another theory how I think Pearl actually belonged to white diamond this whole time or I don't know something random like that I, I can tangent a lot as you can tell but once again I, this video is more of like just an introduction to who I am where marshmallow came from things like that wanted to kind of just like get a video out there for you all to see um, I'm gonna do my best to kind of upload every single weekend <laughs> college though that could get annoying like for example Monday I have a physics quiz that I haven't studied for yet so I'm probably actually gonna go start doing that now but there will be times where I'll say I'll upload every Sunday I'm not saying that for sure just yet just because I'm still kind of settling into this little idea but I'll say just weekends in general I'll upload anywhere from Friday to Monday be warned they might not come up every week simply because, like I said, I have tests, I have classes. Uh, something maybe I'll discuss in another video is kind of why it's going to be very hard for me simply because I had a bit of a hard time getting this semester started. But like I said, that's a conversation for another video because if I try to talk about it, we're going to tangent for another 10 to 20 minutes, which I don't think you guys want to do any more than I do at this point. But anyway thank you so much for hanging around for this video i appreciate it so much uh look out for videos on the weekends like i said be wary they might not come up every week because college uh let me know what you want to hear more from if you want to see my writings and such on deviantart let me know if you want to see photography let me know i'll do whatever i can if you want to even see like the sketches i'm doing in some of my classes let me know like i am willing to upload anything and anything it's about you guys yeah, I'm doing it for fun, but I'm also doing it to entertain you. So if there's something you want to see that I'm doing, let me know and I'll upload them. Like, I do sketches in every single class. Probably shouldn't because I'm not listening too well then, but I do it. So let me know what you want to see. Thank you so much for hanging around. I hope to see you guys some next week too.